everyone, it's Emily Fox. Today is the second edition of my Read It or Unhaul It challenge of 2024. I'm stressed, okay? I'm gonna be honest. I've been in a reading slump on and off all year. I have been reading some good books though. It wasn't all bad this month, but I'm nervous because now I have to read, I don't know which book, from my shelf. Let's pick the jar because that, that thing is huge. Here are all the books that are on red on my shelf. And I don't know, I don't know. I feel like it's gonna be actic this month. Um, we're just gonna pick one. I am allowed to put one back, reminding you of the rules because I might need to. <laughs> oh, I saw the color. It's green. I almost looked. Um, I try to show you every time, but then like it doesn't always focus. It's green. Fantasy, fantasy I feel like is a good choice because the ones I have on there that I don't really want to read, I'll get rid of them fairly easily. Vigilance? You know, it's not good when that rings absolutely no bell. <laughs> to be fair, that means I'm gonna actually get to a book that I have forgotten that is on my shelf, and I might get rid of it. I might not. Uh, let's let's go see. Maybe I should actually Google what it looks like first because I have literally no idea. Oh, okay, I know what that book is, but I don't know if it's part of a series. Let me double check. Okay, so these two bookshelves contain my fantasy. Listen, we're not even going to address the fact that the bookshelves are a mess because it's on my list of things to do, but it's a tiny book. Cool. Okay, so it's not part of a series. The rating is not really high, but it's short. It's short. Um, I don't know. It kind of gives me vibes of sci-fi, but it's fantasy. And it was saying that, oh, it's futuristic fantasy. It's sci-fi. It's sci-fi. Whatever, rules are rules, okay? It doesn't matter if the paper was green when it's blue, but whatever. Uh, it is sci-fi, it's short. It's just under 200 pages. It's futuristic. United States, 2030. A reality game show designed to make sure American citizens stay alert to foreign and domestic threats. Shooters are introduced into a game environment and survivors get a cash prize. That reminds me a little bit of that book by Stephen King. I don't know what. The name was. I'll put it on the screen. Anyway, it might not be similar, but that's it. I'm gonna read this. It's sci-fi. Shit. <laughs> I keep complaining. I keep getting sci-fi books in every challenge that I do. Even now, I thought it was going to be fantasy. Whatever. Maybe it's a sign. Um, I'll read it and or unhaul it. We'll see. Good morning. I forgot to update you last night. I read the first couple of pages. Um, I have a feeling I'm not going to be a target audience because the first, like, I don't know, chapter is just a character describing um, their target audience for this TV reality show that is affecting real people in real life. And it's just someone is selected and they just, well, more than someone, I think a group of people are selected to go and pew pew people. And, you know, someone will save them. I don't know. Uh, it's just, <laughs> it's a lot. But my first, like literally page six, they're describing the ideal person. And it's very much like a social commentary about the U.S. Because they're saying how is ideal person, that's what they're calling it, like all in capitalized first letter. Uh, is between 64 and 81. Their average net worth is X, their male Caucasian with like more and more burden of medical debts, blah, blah, blah. But I had to giggle a little bit because I had to double check like the author. <laughs> so I was like, I'm hoping it's not going to be because it says his ideal person has never performed. I can't say that on YouTube. Has never eaten kitty. Or if they have, they've attempted it less than 10 times in their life. And they do not have positive association with the experience. <laughs> and it's just like, it's pages of the description of the ideal person. Like, I, I can't even read this one. Because it's saying, like, his ideal person would know what the F to do with her. They're describing a woman. She's a woman who would expect to have her kitty regularly. Surely. Um, they say surely. <laughs> It's just such a weird thing, but then you realize, okay, the author is not being sexist. He's being judgmental of these people, so, like, it's fine. But 
I don't think it's gonna be I don't know we'll see it's very readable so far like I I'm not quite halfway through but I'll probably finish it tonight and then we'll be able to pick something else but I think I'm just gonna go for it because I have to still laugh at the fact that I can't escape sci-fi you know I picked a fantasy or what I thought was a fantasy paper <laughs> and it turned out to be sci-fi which like to be fair the other books that I read by the author were fantasy and they were like together on the shelf so like it makes sense that I would think that maybe but oh well uh, this is the this is what this show challenge is about so i'll update you when i'm done but yeah i, I had my little doubts in the beginning <laughs> i feel like i never show her cuddling me but she hates when i talk when she's cuddling me so but we do cuddle every day mm -hmm. i finished my first book vigilance um, it was it was short, right? It was like 200 pages. So to the point, quick review, it was fine. I think this is 100% the case of like, not a bad book, just I'm not the target audience whatsoever. I understand the like social messages that the author is making about the US. Um, it's very much of like this weird obsession with guns and hierarchy and power is all based on fear, blah, blah, blah. Like, I, I don't disagree. It was a very quick read, so I'll give it that. But it just wasn't for me. And I probably should have put it down. But again, it was a quick read. I don't have, like, any hard feelings against it. So it felt pointless to put it down. But did I really get anything out of it? Questionable. So, yeah, um... I finished it though. I think I'm gonna give it maybe a three. Oof. We'll see. I feel like eh. So I'm gonna go grab the jar. I'll be right back. Okay, so <laughs> I have the ridiculous jar. And we're gonna pick the book that I will be reading maybe tomorrow. It's fantasy. Is it real fantasy or is it fake fantasy again? Are you going to see it before me? Uh, I'm filming on my camera. It's going to be backward. Um, City of Stairs 2. That, that was me being too lazy to look up <laughs> the name of the series. Book one was City of Stairs, which I read last year. I think it was like January last year. It's an adult fantasy trilogy. So I read the first book, enjoyed it. Kind of murder mystery in a fantasy world. And yeah, I think I... Don't remember if I rounded it up or down four or five star. I like I enjoyed it, and I think it's gonna be good for me to actually continue a series. Like I'm actually happy. I'm just really tired right now, and isn't it the same author? Let me look that up. It's the same author. What were the chances? Like out of what? Like four to five hundred books that I'm picking up. <laughs> this has to be fake. Um, this, <laughs> this is funny. Oh my God, Claudia, please leave the lamp alone. The babies are, they love the sound of the jar. Look at it. Um, so yeah, I don't want them to actually eat them. I'm going to have to bring it back into the room so I can cover it because I left the really heavy lid over there. But okay, I think it's City of Blades and then the last one is City of Miracles, I think. So I'm actually looking forward to it. I don't know what the second book is going to be about, but in the first one, you get just a little bit of the magic system and the world building. Because like like I said, it's like a murder mystery. And it's like old gods, some of them uh, disappeared. So some of the objects objects that they created stopped working, like the, the miracles, because they, they died. So I'm curious to see where this is going to go. So that's going to be good. And it's an actual fantasy. See, it's on the same shelf. So that's why I put this one thinking it was going to be fantasy. Same author. Same author. Okay, so these are the fantasy shelves like last time. So book one is here. I have read book one. We're going to read book two. I don't know where book three is though. Um, I'm going to show you my shelves because last time I could not find a book and you did in like two seconds. So like you apparently can see better. Like, I could literally hold something in my hands and not find it. Or, like, I'll look like for my glasses and I'm literally wearing them. So, you tell me if you see it. 
but this is City of Blade, or like I put on the paper, <laughs> City of Stairs 2. Quick update because I realized that I have yet to make one. Um, I just put a post-it in because my edition has this weird... <laughs> I don't know what happened, but I bought it used, so like, whatever. Um, but the fact that I forgot to make an update means that I'm enjoying this. I feel like it's set five years after the first book. I feel like it's almost a companion novel. <laughs> like it's probably not. Like I feel like eventually things will, I'm assuming in the third book, you know, converge because it's a murder mystery still in the fantasy world, like book one. And then there's a lot of political intrigue and like someone is sent on a mission to figure out what happened to another person that they had sent and a lot <laughs> just just trust me a lot so so far i'm really enjoying it and that's it that's all we want but i'm curious to see because book one i mentioned how much i liked it but there was just i never knew how to explain it so i never really tried to address it so i'm hoping to see if i'm going to feel similarly in this one but I felt like it wasn't a 100% a 5 star because there was just something missing and I couldn't pinpoint what. And I'm curious to see if anybody else will feel the same. But so far I'm not feeling that. So hopefully I was wrong. Also, I wanted to address a few people asked me if I was going to watch uh, the new TV show The Three Body Problem because I read the series. And I wasn't really that excited for it because to be honest, the world is so complicated. The books are so complicated straight up that i was expecting the worst and especially because of all the like it's a really it's a first contact with the aliens i, I should have started with that right and um it's an adult sci-fi series but super heavy on physics and like astrophysics and like you're reading it and it's a struggle but at the same time the concepts are mind-blowing and then there's a shit ton of misogyny that kind of ruins it but the concepts i've never read anything else like this so yeah i wasn't sure i was going to give it a shot or not but i tried the first episode last night and i did like it so i'll let you know maybe at the end of this vlog i'll have watched all of them if i'm enjoying it um but yeah that's that's that good morning i feel like i haven't used this angle this chair in a video in forever um this is it i finished a beast it took me for a while because honestly it looks deceptively small but it's over 500 pages no it's about 500 pages it looks like it's going to be 300 anyway um i have yet to check to see if i can find book three <laughs> this is book one right yes city of stairs so um i'm gonna be honest i did not check <laughs> but i will because i am planning on continuing the series it is three books and i am enjoying it but i think i found well it's not very precise but i think i found what was kind of missing because it let me <laughs> go back it's early um i enjoyed the murder mystery i enjoyed the world building i enjoyed the magical system i enjoyed learning more about um it's based i don't even remember if i mentioned it because it's been over a week now <laughs> but it's based on old gods that used to make miracles like objects that have magic and when they started I won't spoil anything, but some of them disappeared, were murdered, blah, blah, blah. And when that happened, their miracles stopped working. So in both books, there's like possible, possibly some divine powers being used and like, oh, what does that mean? So since it's book two, I can't say that much more. But both of them have the similar murder mystery in the beginning, a lot of political intrigue, you know, that research. And then the action starts. And in both cases, I lose interest when the action starts i don't know how else to explain it i was really into the murder mystery and then there's a lot of like i was going to say pew pew there's no pew pew <laughs> it's fantasy uh it's definitely what sounds do you make for a swore <laughs> anyway a lot of people are getting um and yeah i kind of lose interest i don't know why maybe the way it's written like i don't necessarily have that issue with other books so it, there must be something because oh, actually i read fun reside by him too and similarly there too so there must be something about his writing that doesn't work for me for action because i never continued that trilogy because i like the magical system um 
am I having flashbacks? Sometimes, okay, sometimes I think about filming a clip. So I'll like do the scenario in my head. And sometimes I, yes, I talk to myself. <laughs> I know some of you do it when you buy things. It's like a haul or like my skincare routine. I know you do it. Um, <laughs> but sometimes I think about doing it and I don't remember if I've done it or not. Or I'll, I'll be like editing my clips and I thought I did the update and I didn't or I can't find. So yeah, I have those moments. But yes, in that book, my favorite character was the talking key. And like, I feel like I've said that. <laughs> And if I haven't, I really thought about it. Anyway, so yeah, I think there's something about his books, the action portion, like the second half of his books that don't keep me as intensely intrigued as the first half. I'm still enjoying it because I, I'm giving it four, but there's just something because I feel like to me, it had the potential of being a five star to me. Like it's a very popular series, like it's well loved, whatever. So it's definitely a me thing. But yeah, it, it's interesting to see that in three of his books. We're not talking about the sci-fi one. <laughs> I will never get over the fact that I can't escape sci-fi. But we did. We did. Um, I read this. I enjoyed it. I didn't make it that much further in the three-body problem. I've only watched the first three episodes at this point, and I'm still very much into it. I'm surprised so far. Like, I feel like it's going to get weird. If you haven't read that series, um, mine is, like, at the bottom over there because whatever it just gets weirder because it's like hard sci-fi like physics astrophysics and like is it really possible <laughs> i don't know i don't know but it gets more and more intense i'm curious to see what they're going to do but so far what i've seen has been done well so uh yeah that's that's what we're at with the updates i think this was a fairly successful read it or unhaul it two books by the same author um, could not escape sci-fi, but you know, we made it. And what else? Ooh, I did want to dress Mama Cat. So let's do it here because I keep thinking about doing it and I keep giving myself a few more days because I did rehome her. The only reason I decided to do it because I, I was super stubborn. Like I didn't want to rehome her because I obviously love her. I had her for almost a year and obviously loved her she do you guys remember when she first came inside like she was rough like she went through my trash can for food she would she hid in my basement and under my couch for like a month but she was friendly but like really really skittish and really skinny but then she was pregnant and you know the whole kitty thing happened um also what marked me was that she hated soft surfaces she wouldn't sleep on the bed she wouldn't sleep on the couch she would avoid like if i put a blanket on the floor she would walk around it like she would avoid i don't know what that was anyway so yes yeah, she started hating her babies blah 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 and i tried to reintroduce them for like eight months and the reason i decided to rehome her was because she started over grooming herself from the stress so she started having like almost bald patches on her back legs and I decided that I was just being selfish at this point she was clearly not happy and to be honest it was a lot of stress for me too to like I have to give enough attention to all of them like flipping putting some in the room blah you know like it was it was a lot but like again I really didn't want to reown her because I love her but I did and I wanted to wait before announcing it because I told them that if for whatever reason it didn't work out I would take her back and the question ask and like obviously cats you have to give them a couple weeks i think they tell you like three months it hasn't been three months but like you're supposed to give them three months for them to actually calm down and you know feel like their home is now their home and so far she's doing well i think that the fact that she had been here for a year probably helped because at this point she was friendly like anyone that would come inside she would go get some pets she would jump on their lap get some pets like she was so much more friendly than she had been so yeah she's the only pet there too so that's probably helping she's the queen of the house and i hope that she'll be happy so yeah i'm i'm honestly very sad about it i'm sure you guys are too because it's amazing that you guys have been getting attached to the pets as much as i have but i do think that it was the right decision but doesn't make it easy but yeah so i am downgraded now from a crazy cat lady level four to a level three so I only have two and a half black cats now. So now I was going to joke that maybe I need another one. I do not. I do not need another cat. Plus I wouldn't want to like ruin the dynamic because they get along so well. 
Like, they never fight. Like, I have clips. Let me show you a clip of, like, I think it's Claudia and Charlie that fight the most. It's more like they don't fight the most, but their fights are the funniest because Claudia starts it. Obviously, she starts every fight. That's that's how she is. And Charlie is, like, so much bigger and he's so chill in general. When he fights, he's kind of scary. But, like, he's generally so chill. So he just slaps her on the head. And, like, it's a silent clip. Like, they don't make a sound. So if I stop talking and, like, make you hear the sound when he slaps her, hopefully it picks it up. Because it's just, like, fuck. <laughs> like, it makes me laugh every time. Because she's doing crazy facial expression. And he's just there being, like, tap. <laughs> anyway, in general, they all get along really well. So I don't want to ruin that. Plus, again, three cats is more than enough. Especially this time of the year. They are shedding like crazy. I'm brushing them. And I've never felt... Like, I had a ton of cat hair, which is a question I get a lot in person. Like, how do you do it? It's not a problem because I have, like, a little robot vacuum and I use it every day. So it's never a problem. But at this time of the year, oh my gosh, it's the first time that I'm noticing a ton of cat hair. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's the update on the kitties. That's the update on the books. Two books that are now out of the giant book <laughs> jar. And I'm actually excited to do it again. I feel like a three star, four star, I'm good with that. I'm good with that. I think I'm going to unhaul the sci-fi though. Because again, I wasn't really the target demographic. And we're trying to declutter the shelf. They don't look that... Okay, they look bad, obviously. I, I Actually, it's, it's going to be probably my May challenge. That they, they will be reorganized. Y you'll see. It, it's going to be a whole thing. But... They don't look that full, like, okay, these are fuller, but like, it's just really deorganized at the moment, but it's because I keep telling myself I want to do a specific thing, and like, I, one, don't have the energy, two, just haven't done the thing yet, so, <laughs> I'm making excuses, I will see you in my next month, I mean, I'm going to see you before then, but I'm excited now. We're decluttering the shelves. We're finally continuing series, even though it had only been a year. So maybe in a year, I'll find book three and read it. Again, if you've seen it, I swear sometimes, I mean, sometimes I look for my phone and it's in my hand. So who knows? So bye.